liberals would just as soon forget Ronald Reagan and all that he represented. The disturbing thing is that many high-level Republicans are calling for exactly the same thing. But those of us who continue to revere Ronald Reagan do so not out of a sense of nostalgia or from an Obama-like cult of personality, but rather because he clearly... Obama-like cult of personality? That's outrageous claim there, too. I mean, he won the election. There's no cult of personality. He won the election, John. And unashamedly sets forth not policy positions, but rather fundamental moral and ethical standards. I personally will never get over Ronald Reagan because Ronald Reagan expressed with perfect clarity the values of discipline, optimism, and individuality. Ronald Reagan was an actor, and everybody knows that he did a very good job saying his lines, but he also used to fall asleep in the middle of uh, Congress. Okay, you gotta remember this about Ronald Reagan, John. He was an excellent actor, he was an excellent spokesman for the conservative cause, but he... <laughs> He had Alzheimer's, and it came out a lot sooner than people realize. So the man was just mouthing lines, John. That my country and my moral code is based upon. That's non-negotiable for me. Like Reagan, I was not born into this philosophy. Like Reagan, I came to these conservative core principles only after much study and deep reflection. And I know that many of you feel the same way that calls to abandon these principles from people ostensibly sharing our same conservative position is not a hopeful, forward-looking rebranding, but rather a retreat, a surrender to the principles and the philosophies that we should be fighting against tooth and nail, not emulating and accommodating. You know, a Gallup poll taken just a few days ago revealed that 40% of the electorate identified themselves as conservative, compared to 35% who call themselves moderate, and only 21% who identify as liberal. Here's Reagan's electoral map from 1984. Maybe if we started running the actual... What does that have to do with today? Reagan is not here. This is not the same world. Things have changed substantially since Ronald Reagan, in case you haven't noticed. Conservatives, we might win some elections. That's just a crazy little thought that I had. I spoke Reagan's words so that you could hear them fresh again. Go listen to the original. It's a far, far better speech than I'll ever be able to give. And not for an instant would I presume to be able to close it the way that he did. So here's Reagan's original close. And we turn our back on this voice and this wisdom at our mortal peril. Because this isn't just about socialized health care. This is a fight for our very way of life. Write those letters now. Call your friends and tell them to write them. If you don't, this program, I promise you, will pass just as surely as the sun will come up tomorrow. And behind it will come other federal programs that will invade every area of freedom as we have known it in this country. Until, one day, as Norman Thomas said, we will awake to find that we have socialism. And if you don't do this, and if I don't do we it, we already have socialism, John. Days, you and I are going to spend our sunset years telling our children and our children's children what it once was like in America when men were free. Boy, John. <laughs> that's, that's quite a piece of propaganda there. So anyway, John, you know I have the greatest respect for you. I always have. I still do. I know we disagree on many issues. And uh, I think conservatism, conservatism has its place. And certainly free enterprise, when it worked, before corporate, corporatism took over, was a great system. But now there is no such thing as free enterprise either, John. Okay, Corporations own everything. So there you go. I gave you my response to the video and uh, I'm hoping we have in the last three decades. This is called the Earned Income Tax Credit. It's a program whereby if you're if you're a working person, a working couple, will actually give you money. That's a redistributed program. It's a program which takes money from the upper classes and gives it to the lower to the to, to, to working poor. Now, who started that program? The earned income Ronald Reagan. 